What's up guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1997 Lost World Kenner Humvee or Hummer. It says Hummer on the back if you if you look right if you look on the back. It says Hummer even though it's a called the Humvee. And I'm going to be reviewing it. This is an amazing amazing toy vehicle from the 1977 Lost World toy line and it's 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 probably Besides the trailers, it's probably the best vehicle out of the entire lot. And that's what we're reviewing. So, I'll start off with the trailer. Let's push the actual Hummer aside. Let's start the review. This is the trailer. It's a very big, plasticky 90s toy. If you look on the insides of the wheels, they're like hollow. Like the toys of that decade. It's, it's pretty so. This is actually pretty straightforward. Just a trailer, little latch part. Nice. This is pretty heavy because it's a spring-loaded mechanism. So when you pull these apart, which is like supposed to represent like those airbags that they catch the pachycephalosaurus in, and they separate. And when you click this button, it closes. And I use my hand to stop the blow, but if I pull it apart again, oh, that was my bad. I gotta, yeah, just press it back. I gotta keep it solid snaps this is a pretty cool thing the stickers are pretty basic you know I've got some caution hazard stuff caution it's pretty I think it's amazing it's a uh, not ex I don't think this is exactly what was in the movie I mean the snapping thing was but I'm not sure if it was like a trailer pretty sure it was like attached to the front but yeah that's the little snapping action pretty pretty cool pretty heavy too surprisingly but that's for the mechanism now, I'm going to move on to the accessories. That's right. Probably thought I was going to move on to the Humvee. Hum but no, this comes with two accessories. And they are just stun rods for your action figures. But they don't include, this doesn't include any action figures. This is like really good marketing. And like really mean marketing. You sell them action figure accessories with a vehicle. That's like, that's rude, you know, that's evil. Now they have to go buy it for these two stun rods. But it comes with two stun rods for your action figures. And it also comes with this bullet. Which, now sort of moving on to the Humvee now. It has a turret on the top. It just mounts. You can pop it off if you want. It just sits right here. I'm not sure how you pop it off. Uh, It just kind of, yeah, it just pops off right there. With a little latch onto the uh, gate. And you just, I'll have it backwards. Use this. It into the thing, click it in, and then you click on the button, and it shoots. And this just mounts right there. Pretty cool. If I can get it in there right now. There you go. This spins all the way back. There's that little thing blocking it. You could do that. Never mind. But it moves up and down. Good range, so you can shoot the dinosaurs. This thing also has uh, headlights. No. Yes. No. I don't know what these are called. I forget. But these pop off. Like, it pop them off. There you go. No, I don't know why they pop off. Either they were cheap or they were trying to make a dino action play feature. Just some stickers. Pretty basic. All the stickers generally have, like, yeah, if you see, they're all cracked. It's kind of a theme going on here. This just sits on right there. And then at the front, you have this grill. And you can pop this off it has it's just clicked on again i'm not sure if they're just cheap or this is supposed to be dino damage it's not really clear to me but here's here's, here's the grill and again the broken glass stickers and that's where it mounts there's also two lights that actually just stickered on if i can get this back on here there you go there's also some nice stickers on the front of the hood you have a lost world Jurassic park which uh doesn't make sense on a vehicle I understood why they had the Jurassic Park emblems and stickers on like other Canada toys from the first movie. That's because in the movie this was advertised, but the Lost World's not a actual theme park, so it doesn't make sense besides advertising for the toy and in gen right there. And also this sort of like I don't own a MB, I'm not sure the components, but I'm guessing this is just an air vent or something on the tip. And moving on to the side, I have a nice long muddied sticker again with going with that worn look 
with all the stickers. And you've got this big, almost like roll cage protection thing on the side. But it also doubles as like, sort of like stand for your action figures to stand on. And then you got the door, which does not open. These are solid doors. Kind of annoying. And there's also three stickers right here if it'll focus. And it shows like, Different dinosaurs they killed, or whatever, like a tally mark. This also seems to be some like air spraying on here, all over the side. It can't really tell, but it definitely looks like they've gone with like an air spray, dirty look on the side. You kind of see where it's green, and then it kind of fades into tan. Well, they did that sort of thing here, and it's the same on the other side. Same deal on the other side, the stickers and everything. Now. These things, these are like, I'm pretty sure they were actually on the Humvee in the movie. And what they are is you stick your action figure in. For example, I have Samuel Jackson from Kong Skull Island. Because I don't actually have any of the Lost World figurines. But here's Samuel Jackson's guy from the Kong Skull Island. And if you just sit him in here, he just sits in there. He's practically the same size. And what you do is you just bring it up. I mean, this is where they sit with their guns to shoot the dinosaurs. And it's, it's pretty tall, but I'm going to fold it over. And then they can fold out to the front. Right here. And then when you have a dinosaur up front, they can, like, get it. And they hang down a little bit. This guy's pretty heavy, so it hangs it down a little bit. But then you just go, whoop, and they just bring it back over, and you sit it back down. It sits down. There you go. And you have this one on both sides, so you can do it on both sides, you know. Fold it over. And you have captured things. Now, if we take off the turret, that's pretty tough. I'm not good at taking off this thing. There you go. There you go. I'm not entirely sure how strong this thing is. It's pretty loose. I hope it's strong. And then you've got these. And I'm pretty sure, even if they're not supposed to, I'm pretty sure all these, if I just move these out of the way, you've got a cage in the back. This could be, this could be a place to stick your, uh, Dinosaurs back here, you know, if you have like, uh, I don't really have anything, for example, right now, but if you had a dinosaur, you could probably capture it and put it here. So that's pretty cool. It's also, is that what I think it is? Today at a uh, foot stand? I'm gonna grab Samuel Jackson again. I'm gonna try it out. You see, if you look down right there, it seems to be a little peg. It seems to be a action figure peg. Let's just see if it actually works. I think it does. Not very well if it is, but if it's not, well, it doesn't work very well. But that might be an action figure peg. I don't think it is. I have another action figure. I have Muldoon from the Legacy Collection. And, uh, I'm going to have to say that's not a peg for your action figures. I don't know what that is. But, uh, I do believe these can pop off. I'm not sure if they're supposed to. Oh. They all sort of pop off at the same time. Ugh, if I can get it. No, not really. It's not coming off. And I don't want to try and break it or anything. But it sits down. There's a little cage in the back. There's a sticker, Hummer. And here's this. It, it looks pretty beat up. But it's for the trailer to sit on. You've got some backlights, which again... Have that worn, cracked, of that kind of Lost World vibe. Something has survived. The Lost World. <laughs> that was like their toy campaign. It's pretty cool how these flip over. And that's the bulk of it. There is still a little bit, of it, little bit more. It's pretty hard to get a view on, but if you look in here, if I can grab this light. If you look down in there, You've got some stickers, some very basic seats, some control panels, and these are all stickered on. Pretty nice little area, pretty okay detailed for a toy of this age and quality. And a steering wheel, pretty basic, but I guess it would get the job done for a kid. And just like I showed you, the trailer does mount to the back of this. You just grab the trailer, flip it on over, grab this, stick them on, and then boom, clicks on, flip this over, 
and then you've got your Humvee and trailer. I really like this. This is a very, very cool toy, if I do say so myself. Very neat. Of course, kind of dated. I'm not going to call it the best toy of the year or anything, but it's not half bad. It's very nostalgic for people, not me. I'm not that old. But I believe that if this came out in 1997 and it's 2022, this is almost 25 years old. This would be the 25th anniversary of this toy, if my math is right, and it was released that year. I'm not sure if it was like a Wave 2 or something. I really don't remember. But I, wasn't, I couldn't remember. But there it is. 1970, nope, 1999, nope, 1997, Lost World Kenner Humvee, I would rate it, even though I don't have a rating system, if I could, and I did have one, 10 out of 10, has to be one of my favorite toys in my collection, I've got it just recently, but I think it's an amazing addition, and if you could pick one up, and they're, I mean, this one is completely complete, and it costs about a hundred and something dollars, but if you could find them, I mean, I would recommend getting them. Not exactly the most popular of the Jurassic World Vintage Collections. But I would say it's a very good, very good toy. That is how that's going to wrap it up for my review of the Lost World Kenner Humvee. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you want to see more content, just look at my channel. I try to upload regularly. Thank you for watching again. Thank you.